Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about how do you use Python to scrape options chain data. Like for example, if you're on uh, Netflix's page on Yahoo Finance and you're looking at this calls data or puts data and you wanna download that easily with Python, how can you do that? Well, we'll cover that in, in this video. And I also have a corresponding article with this video on my blog. So if you go to theautomatic.net and you can go to this article, um, how to get options data with Python, which I have a link to in the description below. It'll provide you with more details. And please make sure to like the video and uh, subscribe and feel free to let me know what, what you think or if there's anything that could be improved down in the uh, comments below. All right, so let's get started. In the previous videos, when we were working with Yahoo Fin, we worked mostly with the stock info module. But in this video, we're going to work with the options module, which we can import by typing in from Yahoo Fin, import options. And now let's suppose we want to get the options chain data for a particular stock. All we need to do is to type in options.getOptionsChain and now input the name of a particular ticker symbol that we want to get the data for. So let's say we want to get the data for Netflix. In this case, it'll return a dictionary for the calls and puts data. So if I want to look at, um, let's say I set this equal to a variable and I want to look at just the uh, calls data, I can type in chain of calls. And this will show me the uh, calls data in a data frame format for Netflix. So if I add dot columns to the end of that, I can see that the data contains the contract name, last trade date, uh, strike price, uh, last price, and bid and ask, along with uh, other information. So by default, when we run uh, get options chain, it will pull back the options chain information of the nearest upcoming date. So in this case, July 31st, uh, 2020. If I want to specify a different expiration date, all I need to do is go back to my uh, get options chain function and add that as a second parameter. So for example, June 22nd, uh, let's see, I think June 17th, uh, 2022 is in another expiration date. So here we have um, the data for uh, June 17th, 2022, and we can see the uh, calls and puts information. In addition to pulling back the full options chain data for both calls and puts, we can tell Yahoo Fin that we just want to get the calls data or just want to get the uh, puts data. So the way we do that is by um, changing get options chain to get calls. And that'll return a data frame with just the calls data. And if I want to get just the puts data and ignore the calls data, I can use options.getputs instead, and that'll give me the uh, puts information. In addition to getting the calls and puts uh, prices and, and data, we can also get the expiration dates for a particular stock. And the way we do that is by typing options.getexpiration dates of whatever uh, ticker symbol we're interested in. So sticking with Netflix, when I run this, it'll return the uh, expiration dates uh, for um, this particular stop. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video and definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like me to add or other videos you'd like me to make, uh, please let me know. All right, thank you.